Hello, Michael here. How has fear held you back? For me, I was a bomb squad technician many years ago in the United States Air Force, and one of my jobs was clearing landmines. And not the ones that were placed by people, but ones that were dropped out of aircraft doing what we jokingly call high speed, low drag. And those things, when those landmines come out, they are literally spread all over the place. You might get into a patch of area where there's nothing, and then you get into a patch where there's a whole ton of them. And so through experiences like that, especially in the military, dealing with explosives, where a uh, incorrect mistake could literally kill you, you've learned to have a healthy respect for fear. However, fear is a bit of a mindset. It is a recognition in our mind of a potential situation, but it's not the reality. Yeah, sure, that potential can become a reality. You step on a landmine, it goes bang, you lose a foot, you kill your buddies, <sighs> and other obnoxiously unhappy things <laughs> in life. However, fear is just that. It's just something that typically holds us back in, in our minds. It keeps us from you know, taking steps that we probably should be taking. And, well, it's not about bombs. Sabina Nowitz over here in our HBR article and how to move forward when you feel frozen is something that's uh, pretty worthwhile and checking out on how to overcome fear. And good luck.